What is happening, people? Hey, guys, it is the first week of October, October 7th is what it is. Uh, you can tell in the background the leaves are changing. <clears throat> we At the lake, we had that hurricane to come through last weekend, so we did not get the fish. Uh, the lake water is 67 degrees. Not sure what the crappie are doing right now. The one thing that I have seen, and I've only been in the water five minutes, is there's a lot of shad in the 20 to 25 foot range. Uh, that's a little strange. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, we're going to do a couple of things today to see if we can put some crappie in the boat. <clears throat> and hey, while you at it, hit that subscribe button below. That really helps my channel out if you hit that subscribe button. Stay with us, and I hope you enjoy the video. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. Nice one right there, y'all. Woo, doggy boy. Wild life adventures, that's how we roll. <laughs> okay, so this morning we're gonna start off, we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna try to cast these fish. The last time I was here on this particular point, there's some structure under the water here. Uh, I was trying to cast to them. Trolling motor batteries was just <clears throat> squash. So anyway, two new trolling motor batteries, boom. Uh, Lake Country Baits lures. This is the minnow. Let me show you what I'm gonna throw first. That is the minnow. <coughs> that is in the dipstick color, excuse me. That's in the dipstick color. Look at all of the reflections of all the glitter that is in that bait. And that is a green. I've got it topped with an eighth ounce head. Since I'm fishing fairly deep, eighth ounce head here with an eye. And uh, We're gonna cast these fish. Look like some fish here. See how they react. Hey, let's go catch a fish. Look like the fish are holding down around 15 feet. Now, if you're new to this channel and you're watching this for the first time, I do fish live scope. Some people really get annoyed with uh, people fishing live scope, but please don't let me fishing live scope keep you from watching this channel. I go over a lot of different information uh, in my channel about crappy fishing, counting down depths, uh, just got bit, size of lures and so on. And uh, so don't let that deter you just because I utilize live scope in, in my videos and, and what I'm doing now I'm casting out this eighth is sinking fairly quickly so what I'm trying to do is pass throw past the structure and float the lure over top of the structure without actually getting hung in the structure and just trying to stay back so we don't spook these fish now a lot of these fish boom a lot of these fish are, are um, I should say this is like a you know, it's a decent crappy. Uh, we'll lift him up. Now oh, he's just a little one. Boom, caught him on that uh, minnow in the dipstick color. He is a smaller fish. Uh, you know, that's about a nine inch crappy. First one this morning, actually second cast. Uh, we'll keep some fish today. We're gonna keep them, uh, we're gonna try to stay nine and three quarters and bigger, 10 inches bigger. Just depends on what bites. Now, as I was saying earlier, I can turn and look at the camera and talk to you. Uh, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. 
10, I should be roughly 15 feet deep. And you notice how slow I'm winding this, and I just want that minnow to come through the water and look natural, just got bit again. Uh, just look natural as it's coming through the water. I got him, and they're reacting good to this minnow and this dipstick color. Uh, smaller fish, the second smaller, boom. Uh, but they like that dipstick color. Now, uh, Dennis sent me, he sent me a few in this minnow style bait. He's got several colors. I am not sure if Dennis has uh, this minnow in the dipstick color. He sent me these because I like the dipstick color. And uh, Dennis is a sponsor for uh, my channel now. And uh, so Lake Country Baits is sponsoring uh, Wildlife Adventures. And uh, so what I normally do, see the head gets a little boogered up here. I bite it off, or use your scissors. Bite it off. And because it's got that little barb on there, you want that minnow just as straight as you possibly can get it. And that little minnow split tail right there on the back just comes through the water. See how easy that thing shakes? And uh, you know, that looks like a natural shad coming through the water. Let's throw it over there. Now, if we, if we catch a few more small fish, we're gonna move from here because normally you're gonna catch your biggest fish first. Uh, but they are reacting to actually casting. And I'll cast this and then say if the big fish are lethargic and they don't wanna move, uh, I am going to drop the uh, vertical jig right down in top of the fish too to see if we can catch something. Got bit again. You know, the only time I'll pull it up, if I get bit and I don't hang one, I just keep moving the bait. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a fish will hit, um, sometimes a fish will hit at the lure several times. And, and what they're doing, they're mimicking, a crappie is mimicking actually what they do in the wild. You'll get a couple of crappy, a school of shad will come over and uh, I'll get to talking to you and forget how deep I let this sink. And actually, it's already on the bottom. I don't want to do that. And uh, today is not windy. I am fishing with an eighth ounce jig head. If it is not windy today, I could get by with a 16th today, but I didn't know, I, I put this eighth on because I knew I'd be casting. And um, casting out some distance, 30 to 40 feet, winding it back through the fish. And I wasn't so sure if uh, I wanted to be able to swim the lure kind of fast. The water's cooling down. Fish will get to chasing, or crappy will start chasing a little more as this water temperature drops. Uh, this fall, 60, about 67 right now. Water's got a pretty good color to it. It's a little stained, uh, not too clear. I hate clear, clear water for crappy fishing. It's kind of bright and sunny. Uh, so I have my live scope set out looking 45 feet. So I'm looking out into the water 45 feet. And there's a picture of just how many crappy are out on this hump right there. Now I'm gonna zoom it in just a little bit. Uh, let's zoom it in to about 35 feet. And I'm gonna get right back over them. Boom. And I'm just moving the live scope back and forth. You can see all of those crappy uh, stacked on top of this hump. So right now I'm gonna switch. Uh, 
I'm going to switch. Uh, I have a hair jig on the top of this. And this is just one I already had rigged up. I am actually the, the breeze has blew me over. That's that ice color Lake Country Baits. Eighth on the bottom, just a hair jig on the top, a black one. One of my uh, kind of favorite, gray and black. I've got right over top of these fish, so I'm going to just vertical jig them to see if it makes a difference in the presentation. You know, I'm just, and boom, this is a decent fish. This is over 10, and he hit the hair jig. He hit that black with the hair jig, good fish. Let me put him in the live way. I'll be right back. It's a vertical presentation is uh, being pretty darn good. Another decent crappy. Noticed he hit the black jig. Boom. Good crappy. Another one for the live well, y'all. Over 10 inches. Another decent fish. This one hit that ice on the top vertical jig. Uh, and I got meal time on the bottom. Uh, Lake Country baits. Now, they've hit the hair jig. So what I've been doing, i just been switching colors. And you'll find people ask all the time, does color matter? Absolutely. One color may look edible to one crappy and not the other one. So. I always, if I'm sitting on some fish and it slows down, I always switch colors. So, another one for the pot, 10 inch crappy, boom. And, you know, I, I'm not doing nothing special. So, there is, in the fall, uh, if you've crappy fished long enough, you know that. In the late summer and into the fall, crappy will congregate in huge schools. It's a great time to actually uh, catch a lot of, of fish, uh, crappy. You can really, uh, I mean, you can really fill a cool up in the fall. And, you know, the water's cooler, uh, fish a little more reactive, you know, and co cooperate. And, you know, basically, this is what I'm doing is vertical jigging. A uh, little small one here. Vertical jigging, and I'm just dropping the lure right down in around where the fish is, maybe twitching the rod just a little bit. And they seem to key in on that white ice there. That looks a little bit better. I hadn't caught one on the meal time. But on other days, it may be in reverse. And I tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch that. Now, I don't know if I let this video run live, but it hadn't been very long. Now, that is that blue moon color. That has been a, a, a great color. Now, I just changed from meal time to change that. Boom, it got bit. Another 10 inch fish, you know. You know, we talk about, some people don't like vertical fishing, you know, spooks the fish. These fish, I can tell sometimes when I drop the lure in them, they, they go to moving around a little bit, but they hover, they stay in, 
the sun is high and it is not a cloud in the sky today. And they are hanging tight, tight on that structure uh, down there. And so many times I may not set over them, but I may pendle like where I need to throw is say 20 feet over there. But I could take the, this 10 foot rod and I could just pitch it over there. It's two jigs on it, so it's gonna sink pretty quickly. And I can count it down. And, and, and basically I'm just gonna hold it and let it fall through the water column like this into the fish. So it looks like two minnows swimming from up top coming back down through the strike zone. Now, whether I get bit or not, I don't know. But you, you can also do that. That's really cast into them in a cast vertical presentation, if, if you will. Uh, you know, that way the lure is actually, you know, you're not dropping just straight down on top of them. You know, if, you, if it's a lot of brush, a lot of times I'll do that. You know, just drop right down on top of the fish but I can also cast out to the fish and, and, and I know, I mean, I'm just gonna hold a rod and I know it's swinging, that gum and missed it. It's swinging through the fish. Bit better fish. Well, nine and three quarters. You notice that blue moon, boom. And you notice that eye I got. I, I love a jig with an eye. You know, nine and three quarter inch crappy, we'll turn him loose. Uh, you know, good fish, but uh, legal on this lake, but we won't keep him. He hit the top one. Nine inch crappy, probably. I could pitch that lure out in front. And it's just literally out in front of the boat here. It's just crappy all out in this water hanging over top of this point here and you know I'm just throwing this lure right out in front and you know just crushing the crack boom another one that is 10 inches for the pot good fall crappy boom So hey guys, we're getting ready to end this video. Uh, remember to look up Lake Country Baits. Dennis makes a lot of different body styles, bait colors that are fantastic. And uh, he has some hair jigs, Sid's hair jigs. Give him a look on the website. Uh, just type in Lake Country Baits, it'll pop right up. And uh, we caught crappy on several different colors. We caught them on the minnow. I wanted to try that minnow. He just sent me that new color on the minnow. That's a dipstick color on the minnow. Uh, the blue moon was good. We caught them on the ice color on the LC shad. Uh, we stayed with natural colors. So if you're looking for colors, stay with those natural colors. I have an assortment of colors. I have so many colors I can't fish them all when I come out to fish. Anyway, fishing's been good today. We've caught a lot of fish. We got uh, a lot of fish in the live well. And uh, I think we have, I think I have in a live well around 12 to 15 fish over 10 inches. Uh, we're not gonna keep a lot of fish, but we'll keep enough to eat tonight. Uh, we fished a uh, six pound test line, eighth, 
and 16 ounce jigs. And uh, remember what we talked about today is to change your lure color. We can, we look, we've caught crappy three different ways. We've cast to them, caught them. We vertical jig, we vertical pitch to them and caught them. And we've caught them with a jigging spoon today. Fish reacted really good to the jigging spoon. Uh, <clears throat> so we've caught them different ways. So always be set up to fish uh, a different way and adapt to what the fish are wanting that particular day. Anyway, hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. Hope you've seen something in the video. Enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That really helps us on the channel when you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to that 10,000 mark. I'm really close. Thank you, everyone. Remember to get two of your friends to subscribe to the channel. It don't cost you anything to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And you remember God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you on the water.